Hello, welcome to English Country Life. Welcome to the workshop. Welcome to how to convert your penknife to one-handed opening. As I walk around the small holding, I am reaching for my penknife all the time. It has its own dedicated pocket. It has to go in the right pocket because I can just put my hand on my favourite penknife. And whether it's opening a sack of feed for the chickens, cutting a piece of string to tie in some raspberries in the fruit kitchen, it's in use all the time. Now in the UK, in order to carry a penknife at all times, it has to be under three inches long in the blade and non-locking. And I'm, okay, that doesn't worry me because I like the traditional Sheffield made carbon steel type English penknife. And mine was made by a chap called Trevor Ablett, who sadly died some years ago. And he was one of the last little masters in Sheffield. The sort of guys that were sort of one man band, knife makers, made traditional knives, beautiful pieces of kit. But sadly, those kind of knives are generally not able to be opened one handed. They have the old nail nick in the blade and you sort of open them like that, which is fine, but I've got a sack in one hand and then I have to fish in my pocket and I get the knife out but it's closed so I have to put the sack down and open the blade and pick the sack up and open the sack, put the sack down again and then it spills and then I have to close, it all becomes a thing. The other day though, I came across a piece of equipment that can convert a traditional kind of pen knife into one handed opening and that is going to make my life a lot easier. Let me show you what it is and how it works. This is my knife. Lovely, classic Sheffield English pen knife. It's made of stag scales with brass bolsters, carbon steel blade, super little knife. Takes a lovely edge, easy to sharpen, does everything I want. But, as I said before, it has this nail nick in the blade so you can get your thumbnail in and open the blade and that's great. But when I want to use it one handed, it's not ideal. Now the other day, I came across these. It's a little brass stud or a little brass bar, depending on what you want, that attaches to the blade and allows you to get purchased with your thumb to open the blade one-handed. Let me show you how they work. There really isn't a huge amount involved with these. What we've got here is a piece of brass and if you look closely, you can see there are two little holes. Those holes are Allen screws. And the brass has a groove in the middle. And you fit the brass bar, or the stud, which I can show you later, onto your blade. And that gives you purchase, just to hook against that brass bar and open the blade with your thumb. I'll just attach it quickly and show you how it works. You can see here that you just position the brass bar or the brass stud on the back of the blade and a little supplied allen key goes in the holes and you can tighten down those two grub screws so the brass bar grips the blade. And there it is attached. I like the bar a little bit more because the stud projects more. I'll show it you in place which makes it on the one hand easier to open but on the other hand it widens the profile of the knife in your pocket. How does it work? Well, you simply get hold of the blade with thumb and middle finger, open it one-handed. And close it again. So much easier. That's the thumb stud in place. It's a little bit bulkier, which has pros and cons. Much easier to get hold of with thumb and middle finger, but a little bit perhaps less sightly. So your call, depending on whether you want more utility or more of a discreet look. So that's the quick thumb stud and the quick thumb bar. Thumb bar comes in two different sizes depending on the sort of knife you want to put it on. They're available in the UK from a place called the Bushcraft Store, which has a good online presence. Sent them out to me really quickly, very pleased. I paid full price, they don't even know I'm making this video. I just thought they're an ingenious, useful little tool that us in the smallholder community might find helpful. If you're enjoying this kind of content, can you spare us five seconds for a thumbs up down below? And if you want to leave us a comment, that is even better. Most of our videos are longer covering individual subjects in the smallholder area. 
you want to see those or other tool tips, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to it, and you'll hear every time we upload a new video. But whatever you do, come back and see us soon. Hopefully it won't be as windy. Take care.